Hi everybody, welcome to Say Yes to the Deck, where Lisa is going to try and pick out a deck today, and she is so flustered before we've even started that she had to do this intro more than once. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to Say Yes to the Deck, mm -hmm. yes, yep. um, this is a series where mm. when I'm particularly masochistic, I bring my mm. wife on to help me. I like to help. <laughs> Choose a deck to buy. So that's what we're doing today. Oh, you look so stressed. This is why I'm <laughs> already flustered. <laughs> this is going to She's be already fun. grabbed my butt like four times just trying to sit down in this uh, No, 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 no. <laughs> I grabbed your butt once and then the other three times you like blocked me before I could get there. She tried. Okay, well. I tried three. I tried four times. For. <laughs> only succeeded once. So. This isn't about butt grabbing. This is about decks. The entire premise of this series is that I am going to pick a deck to buy. And I'm a walking shit show. I have a very short, short list of which I basically want everything. So best of luck to Peggy. Uh, we will show you the decks as I show them to Peggy. She's never seen them. And I do have some decks that I think are kind of similar that I can look at and show you guys and try to consider. Oh, you're over explaining. I, that's what I, it's, it's a YouTube Lisa's, channel. Lisa's decided that she's going to buy a deck. She has it narrowed down to four and she has the joy of letting me help her pick the deck. And she's prepared for... All the shit that I'm going to put her through <laughs> not before she gets to buy a deck. Nope. Not prepared at all. You are the one. You normally do this part without me. I know. You said, oh, it'll be fun if we do the whole thing together. Famous last words. <laughs> okay. We're going to do I'm this. I'm having fun. How are you feeling? We're going to do this. I have oh, only four. You're not even going to answer like... me. You're not even going to no, answer me. No, because I can't, I can't honestly answer right now because I don't know yet. You seem like you're just like so like already like... This was a bad idea. I don't know how to get out of this. I don't know how to get out of this. Are you sure you still want a deck? You need to enunciate a little better. Well, I know you don't want that. Are you still you sure? Are you sure you still want a tarot deck? Yes. Yes. I, I would like to point out for the record, because Peggy will surely ask me something money related, that I am buying this with my own money. Her own money. Not your money. That makes it easier. Yeah, see? But Christmas is coming up. The more you spend on yourself, the less you have to buy presents for me. We don't do presents. It's because you spend all the money. <laughs> that is not true. Okay, we are going to get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen so that you guys can see what I'm showing Peggy. I'm looking at a spreadsheet. Yeah, it's just because I keep all my video notes on spread. You know what? It doesn't... Okay, we're going to show you the actual... I'm going to show you the first deck, but I have to hit the record first. So we're going to do that. We'll be right... Uh, She's going to do wait. things. We'll be right back. There you go. Just just do it. You look so scared. Because so that's not my normal transition. Stop. Oh, well, this is, but okay. this is... I'm not normally nope. here either, so you don't have to have the normal transition. True. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to let you edit this. I'm just going to steal your memory card. <laughs> no, you're not. Put the whole thing up. Nope. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I know. It's just that I know what's coming. <laughs> All you have to do is click buttons and we can start. It's fine. I'm going to click buttons. Okay, hold on. Wait. Click you have to, you have to be really quiet for this. Yay! You clap. Okay, so that's ugly. You don't need it. <laughs> I haven't even said what it's called. It's also not ugly. That's so rude. Well, I know it's rude, but it might deter you. <laughs> I'm, I am here to be the human okay. deterrent. If okay. you, if Peggy hasn't, I'm sure watched my stuff because, gosh. But if you saw my recent hot takes, I was really tempted by this one. I'm still being I'm scared of your hot takes. I'm still being tempted by this one. Okay. This is Tarot of the Crystal World. Uh, it is fully funded. It's on Kickstarter, but I only have at the time of filming 21 hours to go. I'm very sorry if you're seeing this. It's already it's already done. <laughs> too late for you, but not too late for me when I'm filming. Um, well, now you're just being a bitch, eh? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. You thought I was mean by saying Watch. Oh, I, Watch I was the just swears. I was just shit talking. You were like, oh, and guess what? You guys can't get this. Okay. Now, hold on. <laughs> Keep going. Try. Anyway. Mm. What first drew me to this deck? Not gonna lie, was Dustin saying this looked like a mix of Danny and my aesthetics. It's really... I'm only seeing the initial screen, so oh, show me some let more. let me get on the right screen page here. Hold on. I was on the updates page. Okay, so this is kind of what the artwork looks like. It's a little muted. It's got this kind of... Um, I don't know how to describe this art style. 
I don't know how to describe this. It looks obviously very hand-drawn. It reminds me almost a little of Tarot of the Cosmic Slumber, which I don't have anymore. Yeah, um, I think I remember you showing me that. Yeah, but it's got... Like, it's got maybe a comic book or co graphic novel kind of feel, almost. Like, it seems kind of intense, right? These are the, this oh, is the six of one. Oh, be. This is going to be fun. You're okay. already yawning. <laughs> what the heck? We just started. I've been yawning all day. It's okay, fine. so this is the six of wands as an example. Um, I remember being kind of excited. That's the creator. Okay, wait. First of all, you can definitely see that there are um, going to be different... Oh. Where did it go? Different mixes of like genders and stuff. Like we see like an intersex person there that I pointed out my hot takes. But it's this, it was actually the six of pentacles. Okay, so this is the six of pentacles. So normally, let's see if I can make it bigger. Oh, oh, nope, that's as big as we go. Okay. Normally in the five of pentacles, you see two people like out in the cold, like looking for someplace warm to go. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh, it it kind of looks like um, the Five of Pentacles. And then I looked a little closer and I realized it's like what happens after the Five of Pentacles okay. when somebody's found them and it's like, like this guy obviously has money and he's or like wealth or whatever. And he's like leading the person who was cold and outside alone, like somewhere warm. Like he's kind of shepherding them. So he's giving them the okay. help they need, which I just think is a really cool way so to illustrate. So this is mostly one card that's got getting... Oh, uh, okay. Well, it was one card that initially caught my attention. Oh, okay. okay. Well, it does look like a mix I am of... having a mild issue right now, though, just because, like, I think, so this is the six of, I'm not sure. Popcorn? Oh, it's the lovers. Oh, my God. I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> it's the lovers. Did you say popcorn? <laughs> Six of... I don't so know. I'm just... This is an issue for me because I am now realizing that it looks a little bit like the flowers are... Popcorn. No, they don't what? look like they popcorn. They look like popcorn to me at a glance. No, I just, anyway, okay. Okay, okay. I love, okay, I love this Empress card. I love that she's got like this like kind of full sleeve tattoo. I think that's really, it's got this like modern but also older look. It reminds me of some of the like, I don't know, I can't tell if I like this for me or if I like this, if this is like fantasy self because this feels okay, very okay. like mature and <laughs> Like not for to say adults. I'm, yeah, like not to say I'm not mature or like an adult. a deck for adults. A little bit, but like Okay, okay. You're a huge fan of diversity, so that right there yeah. is gonna get your attention. It's exciting. It's got like you can I can see that there's a slightly different take on some of the cards. Um just the just the just not a take, but like a different focus, right? Like any yeah. one card can have three hundred meanings depending on the context. Yeah. So this is um so I, I do have, I did pull out a deck that I think might be kind of similar. So let me see. I don't know if it's at all similar. The deck that I pulled that I think is probably kind of similar is the Sasari Bito, which you know I've had forever and love oh. like crazy, right? Like you know that. Do you know that? Or do you, are you just nodding and smiling? No, you have no idea. Okay, favorite. good. I was like, wait, what? Fa fair ones, favorite ones. I can't even talk so right now. I'm going to show the people, but I want to show you first. So this one, you see what I mean? Like I feel like this kind of has that similar sort of graphic novel. Well kind of vibe stop I'm, yawning <laughs> stop it i think it's because you got the lights so the, the the lighting in here for us is so that you guys can see is lower yeah it's true so i think it's i think it's just making my brain think it's bedtime or something okay so do you see what i'm saying no you know <laughs> let me show let me show you guys so this is the sasurai bito uh, if you haven't seen it before let's see make sure it actually focuses okay well i'm i'm gonna focus on a couple things right this second I feel like it's kind of... I love this. When do you want your new deck by? Um, I don't care. I'm not like in a rush for anything. So... Timeline isn't really an issue for me. You've just found some decks and you'd like to splurge on one. Yeah, like I'm just... It's time. Like I... It's, <laughs> it's time. time for me to consciously bring in a new deck. Yeah. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. I just... Um, I'm in the mood and there's some things I've been like waiting and waiting and waiting because I've been... And this deck is coming from Australia? Yeah. Good eye. So yeah, it is an Australian creator. <clears throat> um, but... Uh, they're aiming for like December for this oh. year or next year. <clears throat> um, this year. The, the only thing that holds me back a little bit is that there's not as many images on the cards. This is the only card previews we have right now. So I'm assuming the deck is done because there's pictures okay, of like well, look I'm at all those cards. So I, I think it's done, but I just don't think we're getting a ton of previews. The backs have like crystal clusters on them. Yeah, I see that. <clears throat> okay, well I'm gonna say I'm I'm gonna say that as the very first deck, it's always. Yeah, there's the backs right there. Yeah. As of the very first deck, it's always hard to go, well, does it, how, do you, how does it compare to the other decks? Well, I haven't seen them yet. You haven't really taken a look at them yet. It's nice. Yeah. 
I don't think it's an aesthetic that you're going to stick with for the long term. I think you'll enjoy it while you have it, and then you'll rehome it. That's so rude. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> no, okay, okay. You've got nymphs, okay, but you keep a curated collection, right? So for every deck that comes in, one deck pretty much always finds its way back out again. That's true. I, okay, one I... thing I'm noticing looking at the cards right now that I'm just now realizing, which is something I just need to think about if it matters or not, is that across the different suits, they all have the same kind of color palette, right? Like, so swords are red, majors have a lot. There's a lot of red in the deck, no that's matter fine. what suit you're in. I don't know. I have to think about this one, but I'm really, it's really different. I don't think I have a lot that's like exactly okay, you like can, it. You can really, yeah, you can really be, you can really be impressed with it. Like, okay, I can really be impressed with the deck and still not want to buy it. Yeah, that's true. Um, because everybody collects different amounts at different times yeah, for different reasons. True. I don't think, personally, right now at a glance, I would say I don't necessarily think this is the deck for you right now, but I haven't seen the other three decks, so let's move well, on. Well, let me show you what's next. Oh, Okay. Oh, Moonchild Shadow version. It's pretty. You still have the you still have your original Moonchild and Moonchild. Yes, I do have my original Moonchild. Look at the labyrinth. Okay, sorry, I have to show you pictures. Hold on, hold on. Okay, is this all new cards? Not all new, but there are definitely changes. So I was gonna actually check. So this is my original Moonchild, which is so beautiful. I love this deck. Yep. You know what? Okay, can I tell you what excites me about this deck before I before I hunt for cards? Okay, so one of the things that really excites me about this deck is that a shadow version of this deck, I could like use the regular version, like the original version for like full moon readings and the shadow version for dark moon readings. And uh -huh. that just the symmetry of that is kind of exciting to me personally. There's the two of pentacles in the original. So let me show it for everybody else. Here's the two of pentacles in the original. Oh, okay. And, the, and, the two and then that's the Two of Pentacles now. A, it's a it's totally a different card. So there is definitely a fair amount of changed artwork. I just, two things. I don't know how much of the artwork has changed. The The vibe of it has all changed because it's all got this like darker tone overall. Okay, but of, of all the decks that you, you've never once considered getting rid of that deck. You've no. never once considered rehoming it, and not as far as I'm aware. No, I mean, I've put it up against other decks that I've rehomed against But you this don't one. use this deck for shadow work at all. I don't know that that's accurate. I guess I have used it in that way, but like I've used I think it for this, moon okay, readings. I think this would be the a better match for you than the deck you were just looking at. Really? Yeah, yeah. Even though I have the moon child, I'm surprised to hear you say that. I thought you were being like, you already have a moon child. You don't okay, need another you, edition. But you've done this to get decks that you can use in different ways. in sets, in different ways. See, that idea really excites me, the idea of using new portals. Ooh, yeah. You would... Because you, okay, for starters, you don't do reversals. So when you're trying to look into the um, shadow side of things, you have particular decks that just, just exist to be your shadow work decks. True. I'm, I'm concerned. Okay. And, each... and, and, and whether or not you've used your moon child to do shadow work, it is not a shadow work deck for you. No, but I, I am curious if the guidebook, I'm going to just check this moon entry really quick. If the guidebook is the same, that actually might be a bit of a deal breaker. How can I work with my shadow self? What are my deepest dreams and insight sharing? I think the guidebook's the same, yo. The guidebook, it seems to be the same. At least this entry seems to be the same. Despite having a different... Um, okay, but... So You enjoy the guidebook, but how much do you this, rely on the guidebook? And with this deck, I use it a lot with the guidebook. So if the entries, if the guidebook entries are written the same, I feel like I know okay. I wouldn't necessarily get anything new out of working with it. Like the art would be different, but I don't know if I would actually get anything new. Okay, so seeing that the guidebook might be the same, like immediately makes me think, because this is a deck where like I like, I really enjoy pulling card, a card or cards and then reading the guidebook and then reflecting on it for a while. Okay. And so the guidebook is a big part of how I work with it. So if it's not new and fresh in the guidebook, then I don't necessarily think I need both. Probably not, if you're not thinking of it that way already. Yeah. Like if you're thinking of it as... Like, would you use both decks together? No. I'd probably use one or the other. Like, uh, what my idea for moon, full moon, dark moon. I still think you'd get more use out of this than, the, what was the previous one again? Terror of the Crystal World. I think you would still get more use out of, out of um, a shadow moon child than you would out of Terror of the Crystal World. Just because of the way you read, what you do, and how you do it. I do really like a lot of the changed artwork. I love this labyrinth. <clears throat> for the Two of Pentacles, I love that. I love that so much. 
You seem more excited about I this am, one. I think I am more excited okay, about this one. Okay, and let's look at, uh, and, okay, so now the other one, it's a Kickstarter, you'd be waiting for it, and you're not 100% sure. You know, regardless of goals, things can happen. Yeah. How available? Oh, this is also, this is also a pre-order. So this one is actually not coming out until the spring, I think. Okay. So, it would so be how soon? I mean, I mean, I, the soonness really is not a factor for me right now. So okay, I'm not too and cost. By that. Which um, one is the more? This is a Canadian creator, and the deck. She's actually local to our area, and this is, I think, sixty-five Canadian. Where does it say pre-order? Hold on. Uh, this one is pre-order now. Yeah, sixty-five Canadian plus shipping, which I think is like fifteen or eighteen dollars. Tarot of the Crystal World. Yeah, go back. I think it said sixteen twenty-five for shipping. Um, oh. Well, it's, it's all, that's all in Australian dollars, which... Which is very similar to the Canadian dollar. It says, no, it says right here, Canadian 58. There you go. So oh, it wow. Says Canada plus 26. That seems really... Oh, it's only it's only $40 for the deck, plus... Oh, so total amount twenty six for shipping. Yeah, so it's sixty six Australian, which is fifty eight. Okay, Canadian. so it's more. It is affordable. This is actually more affordable. Yeah, I would. Yeah, it is. Okay. There's a part of me that almost wants to have it just to like. Anyway, anyways, I don't know. No, but then that's Sha fine. But then Shadow Moon Child. I don't. Mm, it's so pretty. I just. You know what it is? I really freaking love this card, and that's a silly reason to buy the entire deck. It probably is. Okay. Okay. But I really okay. Like it. Okay. A lot. So. The first two decks really don't have a lot in common where you're going, oh, this, they're, they each have... I'm hemming and hawing a little on both. Which is fine. Yeah. Okay, next. Oh, Let's just go to the next deck. The next one's going to be hard. Okay. <sighs> this is really pretty. So I, I'm i kicking myself because I didn't back this on Kickstarter, but it's called the Tarot of Oneness. Um, so it's already out. Yeah. So you have an opportunity, you've had an opportunity to look at the entire deck in walkthroughs or anything yet? I haven't entirely because I partly don't want to spoil myself in case okay. I do get it. That's um, really bright. It's really vivid. You are like a little squirrel and you like your bright colors. <laughs> I do like my bright colors. I love that you know me. Look at that. I haven't seen that card before. Okay, hold on. I hadn't seen that one. Let's just see. It's a little otter. It's a little, I saw the little, it's a little otter. otter. Okay. Oh, you're having a good time. What's interesting about this deck is that it's from the perspective of, it's like you're in it. Like the, pers it's like a, what do you call it? First, oh, first person? person. Yeah, okay. it's all first person. So like here you're holding one of the, like you could be holding one of the cups, right? Right. Um, it's really interesting. And there's another deck I've got to show you that does this kind of concept. It's like you're in it. Like in death, you're kind of looking at this mushroom and the, the snake and stuff. In the nine of cups, you're looking down and you found the golden egg. It's, it's very like immersive. Okay. Look at this with the, the foot stepping out. Feet, yeah. yeah, you are temperance in this situation. So the the deck. So it's a very person. So, so it's personified. It's a, it's personal. Oh, I love that they've renamed the pers the hanged one perspective. That's so beautiful with the balloons. That's so gorgeous. And you're like in one of the balloons because there's the edge of the basket, right? There was another deck that did this called the Spacious Tarot, but it was more significantly done through the majors, whereas this done it does it through the entire deck. Um, Look at the fool, like where you're about to see. Oh, that's cool. But see, okay, so here's what's interesting. So I have another deck, but it's only majors only called the Sideways Tarot. Okay, well, that's already like, forget it. But, <laughs> no, hold on. I just wanted to show you. So it's you know, limited use. It is very limited use. So I don't typically use it, but that's, this is what excited me about this deck. Because if you look, it's the same kind of concept in that it's you're, all landscape. You're, it's all first person. Like these are supposed to be your hands, yeah. right? I'm going to show the internet too, but okay, so let me show you guys. So this is the Sideways Tarot and this has a similar first person, but yeah, it's majors only. Um, so I don't really use this, but I love the perspective shift. Okay, you don't really use this because it's majors only. Because it's majors yeah. only. So the, the reality is, like is I have, but only a couple times. So your closest deck is a deck that you really don't use day to day. True, correct. Yes. So this is the first one that doesn't. This is the first one that scratches the itch without you having something similar. That's yeah. A, the fact that it's, it's also an, so pretty. <laughs> like yeah. it's so pretty. Okay, honestly, I would ditch the I, okay. The, okay, the don't forget, ditching a deck doesn't mean you color. can't change your mind and go get it later. It's true. I think that I think this one This one is so for beautiful. Sure. And I didn't know about the otter. The you can look up the other two because they're in pre order on Kickstarter and a lot of creators when they put a deck on Kickstarter or whatever, they do reserve some decks for, for post um, Kickstarter sales. Yeah. Um, once they get everything else sorted out. So, yeah, I could potentially get either one of these later for sure. This is after the Kickstarter, and I don't know how many copies she has available. So, there could be a potential that it could like go out of print. Possibly. It's very 
yeah, it's yeah. still really new. So I love this so much. Okay, this you, okay. It's really pretty. I would take tarot of the which one was it again? The first the one. crystal world. Crystal world. I would take that one off completely. Okay. I I think I think I think you want I think you want it because I love the idea of Danny and mine. Yes, My aesthetics yes, blending. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think I think there I think you're buying it more for that kind of a reason than for it being a deck. I don't think you'll use that deck. Yeah. I think you'll use it occasionally. I th okay, okay. Sometimes you get a deck, you enjoy it, and then you rehome it. I don't. Oh I my don't... God! This is a card that says present moment. Sorry, I'm very distracted. You're a squirrel. See, I am. Okay, there's nothing wrong with getting a deck, using it for a while, and then rehoming it. That's something that you've always done anyway. But I think the Tarot of Crystal World, you will definitely be doing that. I don't yeah. think it's a deck that would stay permanently with you. There are extra um, cards because that the Shadow Moon, the Shadow, the Shadow, the Shadow Moon one? Child, Shadow, Shadow Moon, Moon Child. Child. Yeah, there. <laughs> um, I think if you had that, you would keep it. Yeah. I don't think you would get rid of that one like ever. I don't know. Okay. What what worries me about this one is that once I have this and Moonchild, I could see myself picking one or, or the other, but I, I actually you don't might. know which one it would be my. You think I would keep them both? I think you would keep them both. Well, dang it. Um, I want it. <laughs> um, okay. But I think Tarot of Crystal World needs to go. Uh, okay. For it's now. A, it's for a, now. A, for now. Yeah. It's a night. Yeah. You can always go back later. I you can. Just, just because, just because you're not, just because you're not getting it right today. True. Um, so pretty. Moonchild, okay, so Tarot of Oneness, what's the price Ooh. on that? Uh, it is 72 Canadian plus shipping. Plus shipping, plus 21 so for shipping. So 93 Canadian total. Okay, do you have, is that, what's your budget? Um, I'm all looking at all indie, so yeah, $100 or r roughly around there is fine. Okay, me. so this yeah. actually comes in just a little tiny bit under budget. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. It's really pretty. So is this though. You They're could, so different. Okay, okay, I'll tell you right now, Tarot oh. of Oneness it, you'd get it sooner because it's already out. It's so pretty. Which means you would be less tempted to buy yet another deck in the meantime. I mean, probably true. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you on camera because you can play it back later. <laughs> yeah. No, but you are right. That is actually a good point. I'll have something new and fun to play with. Yeah, because you because deciding because you, you kind of have so to decide. Pretty. Do I want a right now deck? Do I want a later deck? If putting the money up now. Okay, you've put up the money, but don't have you, you on a Kickstarter. You put up the money, but don't have the deck. So the temptation is is quite often going to be there to get something else in the meantime to tide you over. Truth. Okay, that may not be you. May you've got plenty of decks. You probably won't have that problem. Our lovely, lovely listeners, though, with smaller <laughs> collections, may have that problem. That's it's true. something to consider. Yeah, yeah. It's so, how quickly how quickly you how it quick has eighty four cards. There's. Extras. Oh, well, Extras. there's a present moment card and there's a synchronicity card that I've spotted already. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I need to look at something else for a minute because I'm fixating. Okay. So I oh, think... look at the hammock. Is that the? What is That's that? That's the hammock. That's the seven of cups. So they're in a hammock. You're in a hammock and you're kind of daydreaming. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry. Okay. It's really pretty. Okay. So I think the shadow. I think the. I think the 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 shadow moon child can probably go. No, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> From today's best, I think you're going to... Can we look at the next one first? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, this is technically two decks. Which one are you looking at? Because well, I see three decks. D these two. So, it's called the Mystic Palette Tarot. It's by Ciro Marchetti. Or Ciro uh, Marchetti. I'm so bad with the pronunciation. I don't know if it's Ciro or Ciro. Um, anyways, I think it's Ciro. I would guess Ciro, but... I don't know. Anyway, I always, get, I always, I always say Ciro and it's probably wrong. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. so I get it. Um, but, okay, so... The thing that's exciting about this, well, I've got issues, okay, so... We know you have issues, but what's going on with the deck? Hold on. So the thing is... Why okay, you didn't even notice I that? I did notice. I'm just not paying it any attention. Okay, <laughs> listen. The thing with this is that every single time I get a deck that he makes, I always end up rehoming it because I have this one, which I've had for years and years and years. This was one of my first, and this is the um, Legends of the Divine. And it's like, it was like the first Rider Waite Smith. I'll show you guys too in a minute. Peggy's got to look. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is totally his art style. But because I've who, used this for the longest. Who made this deck? Do you know? Same guy. Oh, this is also yeah, one yeah, of his yeah. decks. It's his, this is, this is the thing though, is that I've had this for so many years. Like. Okay. That I've got like a, it's like every time I get a different one that he does, I end up rehoming it. But, 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 this is so dang beautiful. And all of his decks tend to have, okay, let me show the internet now. So this is my Legends of the, hello, can we focus please? And not glare. It's very glossy. Okay, there we go. So this is Legends of the Divine, or Legend of the Divine Tarot. I've had this literally since, like, it, shortly after it came out, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's, I've okay. had it a long time. But, okay, this is the dilemma, though. This is so 
evolved from this art, I feel like. It's fully borderless, it's really beautiful. And there's a color version or this really cool sepia toned muted version. So right. like, I love color, but then I also, I don't have anything like this. Well, okay, I don't have anything exactly like this. I do have like aged decks, like um, like the Carter Postal and tarots that have like an old feel, like a vintage feel. Okay, so you've always gone crazy whenever you see um, Joe Marchetti's work. Yeah. Um, but I also end up... Because because you curate your collection. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you sometimes find yourself buying a deck, kind of knowing up front that you're going to use it, you're going to get it, you're going to use it, you're going to love, love the shit out of it, and then you're going to move it along sooner or later. Yeah. Whatever. And okay? often I think I'm going to like it better. Like this one I think I'm going to like better than this. But I've thought okay. that before. <laughs> That's fine. If you are not the kind of person who, if, if you if you always feel really bad or like you've wasted your money when it's time to move on a deck. Oh, I wasted my money on a deck I'm not keeping. Like, I mean, that's a normal way to think for a lot of people. If that's you, then that's not the deck to get. But, but you know, you made a conscious decision on how, you, you made a conscious decision, even though you've got lots and lots of decks, you've also made a conscious decision not to go, not to go crazy on it. Yeah. So you know that you already are prepared for taking decks that you love and moving them on anyway. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. I like to, I don't like to be, I like to yeah. learn from each new deck and yeah, there's a yeah, process Yeah, yeah. So, so you will enjoy your entire process of having the deck and you will not regret giving it up down the road. True. So you're buying this deck knowing it's a much bigger risk that that's what's going to happen. Yes. Okay. So that's something you have to think about. And again, <laughs> we're having the conversation with the lovely people of the interwebs. Okay. Because... Because you know, you know, we're trying to we're trying to help you guys vicariously through our through our decision through making, my agonizing. through her decision making process. So, are you in the mar Are you currently in the market for a deck that you probably won't? You're probably okay right now. Right Ugh. this okay right now. Right this minute. But I might keep this one and rehome this one. You may keep both. A deck I've had forever, though. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> but you know the risk is higher. Truth. The because even though you, you, you love his artwork enough to buy the decks. It's so pretty. But then you also, you know, okay, we've had our fun. This is great. It's, you know, you're. Yeah. Um, it's so pretty. And then you move it on looks to like, make room for other decks. Looks like Gaia as the Empress. So, so, <laughs> are you, so, so are you okay with. What are you looking for in a deck right now? If you are looking for a deck that you will... I want a sure thing, I think, You want right a now. sure thing that you're going to keep. Yeah. If you want a sure thing that you're going to keep, then this deck has to get take go off your list. What if it goes out of print? No, I'm not buying for FOMO. I'm not doing that. Don't buy... No. Uh, yeah, and you can. But I don't okay, want okay. to. Okay, okay. This is a second conversation. This is another this conversation. This is a whole different conversation. Because, because as long as it's within your price range, you've bought for FOMO going, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. This looks really super freaking awesome. And then if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work out, I know I know several people, because you happen to, you almost always know somebody who would just be absolutely thrilled for a chance to get the deck. True. And so you've, yeah. you're kind of part of a, you're kind of part of a, uh, a large and growing um, buy, sell, trade type of deal that goes on. Yeah. But if that's not, if you're, if you are not in the mood to take that kind of a risk right now, then I would not get the deck. Mm. Yeah, so this is, Mind you, I am really more excited. I would say I'm that, more excited for this okay. one. I'm and, this one. I get and, excited about both, but I'm definitely more excited okay, for this one. Okay, the thing is, is that now... It's so different. Okay, so I, I think it's down between the Shadow um, the Shadow Moonchild and the Tarot of Oneness. I think Mystical Palette, as awesome as it is, it's I would buy a deck like that. Yeah, it's kind but of I also wouldn't, for sure. It's definitely up my I alley. I want to see this card better. But see, I'm like you too. It's like, I don't... I don't I do. I don't really want to rehome a deck. Yeah. But I do it anyway because I. I just. I. I have a much smaller collection than you, and I'm not willing to. You keep yours high and tight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do that. So, um, really now like if this, this came out, if this came out with a mini, or if it came out mass market, like right now it's indie. If this came out mass market, I wouldn't even blink. Oh no! If it came out with a mini. Oh, then it'd be all you. Yeah, because I've be got a couple. It. I've got a couple of fantasy art mini. One decks. of your fantasy art minis, I think, is is it is one of his. It's the I gilded, think it is. It's the gilded tarot. Gilded tarot. Yeah. Mini. Yeah. Okay. So I would say that that probably needs to come off. Uh, okay. Okay. But now, because I will also say that if you get the, 
If you get any of these decks, I think you're still going back for the Tarot of Oneness. This is this. So let's go look at that one again. I want this so bad. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think this is probably the one. This is the weird thing. Tarot of Oneness is the most ex is the more is the most expensive deck. Uh huh. Okay, but I think that no matter. I think that. I think that if you order any, if you get any of the other three decks, I think you're still coming back for this one anyway, uh -huh. which means you'll be spending the money anyway. Uh -huh. Start with this deck. Uh -huh. Start. <laughs> yep. <laughs> start with this deck and you're less likely I really to be in this. a rush to go get any one of the other three. Oh, I want to know what card that is, but I'm pretty sure I know. It's so exciting. I love it. Okay. Sorry. I think you'll enjoy this deck the most, and I think you're most likely to keep it. I don't think you, I, of, of the decks that I've seen you using, I don't think that you've got anything that's quite like this in your collection. I don't have any. First person like perspective, this. and the only. Yeah, just that sideways tarot. That's the only one that I have that really does this. I had, um, I, and every deck I've had that has done this a little bit, I've really enjoyed. Like there was an Elemental Power, uh, uh, I can't talk. The Mass Market Elemental Power Tarot did this in the majors. It didn't show any, like, hands or anything, but it showed you in the environment of that major arcana. But then the minor arcana were pips, and it ultimately just ended up being the only the majors I loved. So I ended up yeah. rehoming it. Same thing right, with this same one. same thing, yeah. And even the Spacious Tarot, which I think is a beautiful no, deck, I think, I it think, only does it in the majors. I think, I think believe, it or, believe it or not, I think Tarot Oneness is the best financial decision. I can't think... I love that you're talking me into the most expensive deck again. Okay. It's smart financially because you're right. If I get the Shadow Moon Child or the Mystic Palette, I will probably also buy this eventually. So you are right. It's I just think you funny. Are, yeah, like you may you may go for Shadow Moon Child or Mystic Palette yeah. eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're way less likely. You're coming back for that deck. I am. Doesn't for matter sure. what you order, you're gonna come back for that deck, which means that money's already spent. You might as well spend it now. <laughs> That's a good point. Spend it now. And <laughs> it's so pretty. Sometimes it's, this is this is the weird backwards thing. If money was truly an issue, then I would probably say get Mystic Palette. Because even though you're probably going to rehome it, you'll enjoy the shit out of it while you've got it. But I'll enjoy the heck out of this too. But, you'll keep oh, but the, the, you're, you're going to keep that one. You know what? But the price is actually probably more on Mystic Palette because it's sixty five U S. plus shipping oh, plus, plus shipping. exchange. Oh, okay. Well, I, I just so I just thirty percent more, thirty five percent more for I us. I saw sixty five and just yeah. Didn't no, give actually, it, yeah. I think that one is the most expensive on the list. Are you looking at Canadian? Oh, that is Canadian. This one is Canadian because I'm logged so into my Etsy account. So it's seventy two Canadian, but it's going to be cheaper if you're in the in the in the U S. It's going to be what like. It'll probably be like 55, 55 or American? 60 maybe. Yeah, somewhere in that range. Yeah, so it's not going to be... Sorry, we're uh, seeing Canadian pricing because... Yeah, Canada. yeah, the CA Canada. But so. yeah, this is US. So actually, if you had 35%... Okay, so 65 US... So that's going to be like an eighty dollar deck up here, plus, plus shipping, shipping, plus exchange. Okay, so shipping. that's actually the more expensive yeah. I think deck. this one is more expensive. So it um, is. So you didn't actually talk me into the most expensive deck after all. But yeah, oh, Shadow Moonchild. Shadow, well, Shadow Moonchild is the least is less. I might. You know what I might do with Shadow Moonchild? Oh my god, that card is so pretty. I think I might wait till it comes out and look at walkthroughs and then decide. Mm -hmm. Well, you were already I'm really tempted. It's so you, pretty. okay, but you were already having concerns as soon as you noticed that the guidebook seems to be the same. I, that did cause me concern. And yeah. I, yeah. it's not a good or a bad. It, it's not. A, it's not a no, good like or a did, bad thing if it is the same, but it's not going to work for what you want to do with like, the deck. Like if I didn't have the Moonchild at all and I was just picking which, whether I wanted the darker one or the more golden one, you yeah. know, that'd be different. But because I already have and love the original edition that I have, I don't want to get this. If it's going to, I don't necessarily want to get it just to replace mine, and I I want to be able to eat to work with. Unless them. you're on a really big kick of wanting to do a lot of shadow work. And you, there's shadow work problems okay, okay. in the Moonchild. Okay, okay. If you get the Shadow Moonchild, I think you will keep it forever. But I don't necessarily think you'll use it as much or the same unless you are going through un, 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 unless or until you're doing a lot of shadow work. Could be. Could be. So, I mean, it's staying on my list, but I'm definitely going to buy this. Buy this that is one. So, this, these colors are everything. Robin but, Voice, he actually did the um, the glow oracle. Remember the glow animal oracle I showed you? It had, like, all the animals had bioluminescence. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I remember really, that one. It was one, really, yeah. really pretty, but it was an oracle deck that I, could, I didn't really have a lot of uses for it at the time. I think that one. I think This is stunning. This is totally up your alley. I want it so bad. It's totally up your alley. It's got a perspective. Other people want it, too. It's in 20-plus baskets. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it, I think it works out. I think that's going to be the best choice for you, and... I'm doing it. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let's go back and do this again, because I don't want to show that part. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'm definitely getting this one. I think so. And I think, like I said, like... It turns out that it's not the most expensive, though, because we were looking at U.S. prices on the other decks, and this is a Canadian price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little... It's a little... I've already put it in my cart. It's happening. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little. Well, it's actually not that pricey because indie decks. Indie decks. What does it say? 
An 84 card tarot deck that enables you to connect with your divine guidance and embrace oneness. That's so beautiful. I just, it's so pretty. Yeah, no, that's totally up your alley. I feel like I need to go back and find my original hot take on this because I feel like I must not have like, I don't know why I didn't snap it up on Kickstarter. It just seems like something I would have bought on Kickstarter. The fact that I didn't is really surprising to me. Maybe there wasn't enough cards for me to be sure. That or, could be it. That's that, like, you've, you've, I mean, it's really hard to make a decision when there's not a lot of cards available and it's really hard as an artist to decide, as a creator, it's hard to decide which cards to show and which cards not to show. Well, especially with art theft being so bad right Oh, art now. theft is a huge problem. So. I really am excited about this. And I love that there is a present moment card. I gasped out loud when I saw this. You were, I think you were talking at the time. But like, because I always talk about the power of the present moment. I do it in every, I mention it yeah. in every single client reading. I yeah, mention so, it like. So now now you're doing your. Um, I'm doing, I'm validating, <laughs> validating, validating, validating my, your choice. My no, choice. I think. It's so pretty. No, I think, I think that, um, like I said, you may, you. You're, you're far less likely, okay, you're far less likely to go back for the other decks later, but you would definitely be coming back for this one. I agree. I think this is definitely one I would regret if I didn't scoop it up. Yeah. So. You're and gonna, I get so excited anytime any creator actually, does something innovative. Like I said, you're actually technically, because you are a collector, you will buy more than one deck. There will be more decks to buy. You're actually saving money. Because I'm not. Because if you buy Mystical Palette or any. I will say there was a part of it that was like. For this I was one, kind for of. Sure. I, it's a guaranteed. This is a guaranteed sale to Yeah, you. it is. It is. I think I was kind of almost on the borderline of wanting both this and Shadow Moonchild. But I do think right I think now. You may, I, think, I, think, I think you may. I think I may end up with Shadow Moonchild. You're going to end up with Shadow Moonchild <laughs> at some point. But I think that in terms of personal excitement. It's this one. It is okay, this one. You you're gonna end up with Shadow Moonchild. I think you'll I think you will keep that one for the long term as well, yeah. but I don't think you're ever gonna get rid of that one. I freaking love this. I just so much. know you. I know it I know it I know it's in your I know it's in half of these bags. What is this frayed rope? Oh my god. I'm just so excited by all of it. It's very again, it's very innovative. It's really it's special. It's very special. I'm excited. Yep. Oh look at the eight of wands. It looks like you may be like going down a really fast car. So, oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm gonna stop talking. I yeah, will I will do a walk through of this one. You when got it comes excited. In. You got yeah, excited. I did. The other decks, I think you might buy them later. Later, or well, trade, yeah, for them trade for them later. There's a part of me that's kind of hoping Mystic Palette comes out mass market because I think it would be a really good contender. And and Ciro's decks often come out mass market at some point. Yeah. Not always. Some well, sometimes wait, they yeah, stay wait, indie. To, wait to see if the price comes down. If the price comes down in some way, then it's wait a no to brainer. See, wait to see. Yeah. But like, you're not the only person that buys a deck knowing I may not keep this for the long term, True. so I'm prepared to trade. Yeah. So you may get you may you may trade you know you may trade for it or just buy it off somebody. This is the one. Buy so trade. I'm going to buy the tarot one. That's a great way to get decks, by the way. I said yes to the deck. She said yes to the deck. I'm very excited. Okay, I'm so really excited about So you are getting the tarot one. of oneness, and it's not available on Etsy right now. Yeah. I'll have links for everything down below, like usual, so you guys can check things okay. out for yourself. Yeah. I think that was like the big focus as to whether or not you were going to keep the deck. Yeah. It ended up being this time, I think. That's a, that's a, it's a, it's an interesting point because I do, so, I always say like some decks are a reason, season, lifetime thing, you mm -hmm. know? It's like Absolutely. some... Some are meant to be all the time. and Well, and we're in a very fortunate position where you can do that, so... Oh, it's cutting the cord. Oh, I bet that's the Eight of Cups. I bet that's the Eight of Cups. Oh, my God. Okay. I need to know what that is. You'll find out because okay. you're ordering it. I know. I'm so excited to see what all the cards are. And I have I have avoided walkthroughs on purpose for this one because there's a part of me that really wants to this wants to discover some of the cards for the first mm -hmm. time. So... I think I, okay, I think... I think that you'll really enjoy it. It's got 84 cards. It's which, got extra cards. It's got and, extra and normally cards. I'm not all that excited about extra cards, but seeing that Synchronicity was one of the extra cards and Present Moment was one of the extra cards did get me really freaking excited. Well, okay, extra cards, just because they're there doesn't mean you have to use... Oh, yeah, sometimes mean, I don't use them. You can use some, none, all. Yeah, like, I do that all the time have to, with extras. So. So, there's some decks where I use their extras and some decks where I don't, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but thank I think, you. I think this is a deck. This thank is you. A, this is your deck. You're I'm going to use your credit card after all. No. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. If that's the case, kidding. then I don't think you need a deck at all until... This is, this is, you're, you're on a no-buy decade. Decade? Yeah. Bye, YouTube. I'll never see you Bye, again because I'm not going to make videos anymore. I'm sorry, I Lisa has to go. I won't be able to buy any decks for 10 whole years. You You would never me. do that. I would totally divorce you. Hello? <laughs> We have a goober that's like, he, he literally squeezed He's up He's been behind us. us, poking at one of us or the other of us this whole time. He's like me now. It's me. But he's like, eh. Yeah, and this time okay, he just like nudged back. in between us because the like, bed's behind He's like, me. waits for a couple minutes and goes, eh, how about now? And it's like, we just ignore him. He's like, okay, I'll come back. Okay. So he's just like, eh, wander, 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 make a little circle, come back, eh. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Did you hear that boof? It's like, eh. Our hips are like smushed together and now he's like laying on our joined thighs. One of us moves, he's falling. Yep. 
that's what's happening. So this is where we're going to be for a while. We're going to so, sit here and pet our dog we're for gonna a while while thank Lisa you. orders this deck. Thank you guys so, so much. As always, extra big thank you to the Unicorn fam. Thank you for supporting everything I do. It means so, so much. And to Thanks everybody watching, out. commenting, subscribing, liking, you guys... It, Every little thing that you do. That was actually fast and easy because you didn't like. I didn't oh, I'm put just up a okay. Fight. I'm very, I'm very accommodating when you make good arguments. No. No. I guess I was. Did you just caught me on a good day? I did. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much, and may your magic always shine from Bye, the inside guys. out. Bye.